Uh, this is a follow-up video, kind of a part three. I just wanted to show what the bullets look like after I dug them out of the gel. This is from the shoot I did over the weekend and posted a couple of videos showing the gel blocks and uh, the wound tracks from these two different kinds of bullets. The, uh, the expanded bullets are the gold dots, all five expanded. They were all shot through two layers of 13-ounce denim and all went about 12 inches in the ballistic gel. Um, the one that hit the table went 11. The one that went into the corner of the block did go 12, but you can see that bullet flipped around, and this is it, and the expansion is actually a lot better. Hold on. Let me see if I can get the focus correct here. The expansion on that bullet... Nope, I cannot. Okay, there we go. The expansion on that last bullet there is actually complete. It's just that the the um, the bullet flipped around as a result of hitting the corner of the block. It flipped around inside the gel extra quick, and there was still enough velocity on it to drag a couple of those pedals back up above the uh, the top of the 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 the, the bullet. The blossom, I don't know how to describe it. So from the side, it looked like it had only partially expanded. No, I got full expansion on all those gold dots, and that's all to the two-inch barrel um, North American Arms Black Widow. The uh, the second row of bullets is the Hydroshock 50 grain, and uh, those all flipped around, so they were base forward. They all tumbled uh, once. It looked like they all tumbled once in the wound track, um, and again, penetration on these was all similar, between 11 and 13 inches. And uh, pretty impressive results. Of course, they're tiny. You know, you know what a 22 Magnum bullet is. Here's a um, 380. There's a gold dot 380 next to those. Next to the 22 mags, it's uh, kind of a different world. But still, anybody who uh, shoots a 22 Magnum revolver uh, or carries a 22 Magnum revolver understands that that's a gun um, for situations where you might not have, might not be able to carry another gun. It's a deep cover firearm for sure, but it's um, it's encouraging to know that if you had to resort to the little backup pistol, you could do some damage. Uh, 12 inches of penetration is nothing to sneeze at. But these are real, potentially fatal wound makers. All right, signing out.